Welcome to another video. Yeah, guess what it is? It's going to be about metformin. So, what are we talking about exactly? So, why metformin 500 works so good in a ketogenic diet? But first, let's start by breaking down what metformin does and what it is, right? So, it's a oral anti-diabetic and it's used for treatment on diabetes mellitus 2 type 2 now it's in the class of biguanides biguanides you like my spanish anyways it lowers the blood the sugar in the blood so this is amazing because we're in a ketogenic diet we're also lowering the sugars in the blood right stay with me now, it depletes the pancreas, and it feels like if the body was, like, releasing or resisting, almost, inside the pancreas and the mechanism of action, and it's like, it's telling it, oh my God, I need more, but it's not letting anything happen. It's, like, confusing, right? Yeah, I like it. Well... It helps improving the balances of fat and blood sugar. That's the main thing. And one of the things I like about it is that it consumes ATP, kind of like with DP. You know that we stop making our own ATP? So that's good. This is really good. Now, if you think about it this way, it does consume the ATP, and now you need energy right so we're right there we're understanding now when it consumes the ATP you're like oh my god so that means I'm like left with no energy but it works with AMPK and what is AMPK well that is an activated protein kinase and I'll go over it but now when this happens it creates more ATP yeah it creates more ATP. And the thing I like about it is that it consumes the fatty acids. So when you're consuming the fatty acids, which is what? A molecule of fat has three fatty acids. It's consuming all of them. So that means you're oxidizing fat. So it accelerates the fat burn process in a ketogenic diet. This is awesome. I like it. So. When we're looking at it in a ketogenic diet, we want to look for ways that we could improve our cycle. And this is perfect, but let, let me keep going, right? Well, it helps restricting calories, like, like slim pills. You know that slim pills, you just go to your muscles and now you could eat more, you can go to the buffet and get away with it. Well, metformin works kind of like that. It really restricts the body from getting those calories in. So it burns them and it makes them go away. Boom. Because it's pushing the pancreas where it's like telling the pancreas like, go, work. And now the pancreas is like, oh my God, I got nothing left. So let me go find, ooh, there's, there's some fatty acids right there. Let's freaking crush that. So it oxidizes the fat. Now. It helps restricting the calories, yes, but metformin inhibits the inflammation pathway in the anabolic matrix. So that means less inflammation, right? But in the anabolic matrix, it activates AMPK, which is really important that you guys understand in a ketogenic diet what it is. And I'll go briefly over it, but you guys to Google or whatever if you need more information, but I'm gonna explain it thoroughly, okay? So, it's like, almost like when you're even, not even trying to lose weight, but it's gonna happen and you wake up in the morning, you're like, oh my God, this worked. So the doctors prescribe it to patients with diabetes and they're not doing exercise. They're just like chilling, you know, they got their blood sugar so high they're taking it in the morning or with every meal during the day they take it two times and they're losing fat and they're like wow this is amazing now i you know i feel better your glucose is not like you know skyrocket same thing 
Now it helps by lowering the gut inflammation. So here's what I like about it. Sometimes when you're on a ketogenic diet, you get distended gut and you're like, oh my God, you're losing the fat, but you're like gassed up. And why does this happen? This happens because you're consuming cauliflower, you're consuming some other vegetables that do this to the gut. And now your, 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 your gut health is like jeopardized, let's say. So what do you do to improve? Let's say you threw the pictures, you submitted them to your coach, your coach is like, you're doing great. You're like, but coach, I, my gut is still distended a bit, uh, but I got you, bro. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. So what do I do? I add metformin. And what does metformin do? It actually lowers the gut. So it does it by allowing the good bacteria to grow really, really fast in the body. And it gets all that bull crap that you had from a long time ago when I'm doing a keto cleanse protocol. And then you see some crazy results. You get like that freaking V taper look, cut shredded, abs perfect, no distended gut anymore. And a lot of bodybuilders, pro athletes, come at me to fix this issue. This is how I fix it. I'm sharing, to, I'm sharing with you guys the truth, the reality. This is how I do it. I add metformin. I don't tell them necessarily why I'm adding it most of the times because they know why they, they take it. But th I know specifically that for gut health is one of the best things. Now, when you're in a ketogenic diet, you also enter a state where you have a lot of energy. But before that state, there's a period of time that you have one simple factor that's going on, brain fog. You're doing the keto. You're losing weight fast, 10 pounds in three days. Wow. Yes, you're cleaning the body. You're getting rid of all the oxygen, all the, the toxins, uh, using maximizing oxidation in your body, um, using those carbs for fuel, kind of like what metformin does, but it actually works by using your body to like mitigate and be in a restricted phase of calories. So that means you could eat more on metformin and the body will use the actual fat for energy. So this is beautiful. I also add it when you're on DP because when you're in DP, you have no ATP production, but this inhibits that and it actually boosts the ATP production. So even though it states that it consumes the ATP, it allows for more ATP to happen. So it's making the body metabolism to spike rocket really high. And you're like losing fat really fast. When do you take it? I have my bodybuilders take it one with the biggest meal of their day. And I always tell them to eat that meal about pre-workout or before the workout. And then one at night. The one at night in a ketogenic diet will help you when you're in a fasting state. Because now that you had those extra raspberries, blueberries, that glucose is all over the place. But we want the ketones to go really high, right? We want that mole level to go high. I want it at 16. I want it extreme. So you burn really fast and I could take you away from the keto and add a low carb diet and then have you doing a actual bodybuilding diet. So this is a phase that we go all, we all go through. Everybody's tried it. Some people don't know how to do it. There's actual clean keto and there's dirty keto. When you're doing dirty keto, you're using any oils. But when you're doing clean keto, you're using only a couple oils. I'm talking about avocado oil, coconut oil, and um, olive oil. When you use vegetable oil, you defeated the purpose of keto. You did, you lose weight, you'll feel like shit, you'll see your cholesterol level go really high. And I'm talking about, not the good, not HDL, I'm talking about the other one, like, it's gonna be really high, you're gonna be like, oh shoot. Yeah, that's bad, man. I don't wanna be adding simbastatine to the cycle if we don't need it. The less, the better, remember that. Yes, I said simbastatine. Simbastatine I added because sometimes people do sheep on their diets and they, I, I have to add it in that case because it lowers the cholesterol levels 
and it makes them balance out so you have a beautiful heart functioning properly and no problems, right? So what I like about the metformin is that it helps in the narrow path. It protects every single neuron in the body. That means you're not gonna be with brain fog, you're gonna be focused and energized working out, you're gonna feel great. Your sugar level is not gonna be so high that you're like crashing and drain and fatigue, but now you have energy because it's triggering the energy pathway and you're like, oh my God, let's freaking bring it, let's do this. You know what I mean? And that's what I want. Now, it oxidizes the fat without even trying. So that means if you're doing a really, really hardcore regimen, boom, action. Boom, results. More cardio, the better when you're on metformin. Now, the body is helping you burn fat, but you also have to be on the keto diet, right? Not all the time. I have my bulking bodybuilders do this and use metformin to allow them so their blood sugar levels go lower. Because some of them love, love to bulk. Some of them like to bulk and cut at the same time. And some of them tell me, hey coach, man, I'm sorry. I ate like two cheesecakes today. I'm like, don't worry, bro, I got you. Just before you go to sleep, I want you to take one minute for me 500. Boom, when they wake up in the morning, blood sugar is at 70, 72, perfect. They're like, oh my God, I weighed myself out. I, I, I was like, less, I weight less, coach. How'd that happen? I'm like, told you, go, tell you. So, when you're in a mass cycle, you're building muscles and everything, metformin is beautiful. You eat it within meals and you take it at night and you're good to go. Now, too much metformin could be bad. How do you see it? You're gonna feel like all the good bacteria, everything's cleaned out. Do you take it every day of your life on a cycle? No. You only take it, you do a prolonged exposure for a couple of days, let's say 21 days is perfect. You get that distended gut back to normal. You guys remember Rami, big Rami? You guys remember how he looked, his abs, he wanted them to look beautiful and he won and he was like, that, that shit was amazing. How do you think he did it, man? Yeah, exactly. This is the perfect scenario, perfect protocol for distended guts with abs. They shrink, you look be taper, beautiful, amazing. And when you're doing keto and you're in a deficit, dude, the results are incredible. I do it. When I cheat a little bit in my diet, well, I, I never cheat. I just like really like to eat a lot of food. So it's kind of like my style, but I know what to do. I'm really professional in this and a, a real expert when I'm talking about like protocols and any compounds and everything. So I'm pretty sure you guys understand when you're doing something you should always be serious like you should always be professional so that means if you're really doing a cycle man try to stick with the pro program don't break the diet if you're doing keto ketogenic diet this helps magic wonders and it's amazing now AMP, uh, ampk we know that it's activated protein kinase now the only thing i want you guys to understand is this this is what you need to learn it acts as a sensor on the energy status of the cell and ensures survival during times of cellular metabolic stress. Doesn't that make sense to you? When you're actually doing keto and you're restricted to three meals and they're low calories and now you're cutting the carbs out, you know your body's gonna be under the stress your metabolic rate is going to back or is going to backfire to like explode into the best thing you've ever done in your life. So when it acts as a sensor on the energy status of the cell, we're talking about enhancement of the blood itself for energy. Remember the period where the body and the keto diet is like starting to go into the energy mode? That will happen. So what do I do? I add metformin so they never feel like they're drained. And when they feel that they have too much energy and take it off, I see the distended gut go away and boom, magic happens. Lowers the blood sugar 
now you can have fun with your diet you can eat a little bit more food and you will not gain fat so remember stay focused stay molded and whatever you do don't break the diet man you don't need to have metformin every time but if you're gonna do it do it right you know what i mean how much 500 milligrams so that means 500 mg is one pill with the meal and one at night time if you feel like too bad and you over exceeded the time frame that you took it because you loved it you will like it uh, just don't take it anymore and you'll see everything go back to normal man so i love you guys that's my take with metformin and the difference between cutting and everything with metformin